What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayada and welcome to, I don't know what episode it is, I apologise, of Tony Pulis Challenge. We're coming towards the end of it now, we've got four games left, we're still in the relegation zone. I can't see us getting out of it. Uh, in the last episode we had a four goal collapse against Swansea, the, uh, the new formation, obviously doing something for us. Uh, unfortunately, um, it just wasn't quite wasn't quite uh, good enough towards the end of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this formation again. Hopefully we can uh, we can we can do some stuff and um, we can get going with it. Um, I don't even know what I want to say anymore. If I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little bit <laughs> a little bit out of it right now. Apparently. Uh, anyway, the team we're going to be playing with today is Wayne Hennessy in goal, Mariapa squad down in defence with Moxie. Yedinak and Ward just in front of them. And we've got Ledley and Dickagoy, uh, John Williams and Shamak and Dwight Gale. Up front, this Stoke team we're playing looks pretty scary. Uh, obviously, they've got Asaidi, who is uh, a very good player. John Guzzetti, who is who got good stats, at least. Shaw Cross, who everyone loves. He is an absolute beast on this game. Uh, if you get him early... He will uh, he'll be difficult to remove from your team. I'm just going to say that. Um, this is a very brave team as well. We're not going to be not gonna be hitting them hard too much. I don't really want to get a physical game going with them. Um, come on, let's show them what you can do. Um, passionate, I have faith. Passionate, I have faith. Oh, fuck. Nope. Oh, shit, was that? Jeez, all right. Oh man, so hopefully what I'm looking to do uh, is give myself an early goal and then just shut up shop. Just fucking end the game as quickly as I can, essentially. I don't want any messing around with this one. Uh, I've slightly tweaked uh, the diamond counter formation uh, to kind of suit just shutting up shop. It's kind of it's a lot more defensive. We're, we're, we're sitting deep with it. So hopefully if we can get that goal, or should I say, when we get that first goal, we will push on um, for a little bit. And if it looks like we may get a second, we'll keep it. If it doesn't, then we will for sure just change formation and end the game as quickly as we can. Hopefully just uh, waste time. This is part, part of the problem with the formation in terms of wing play. We're so vulnerable because we just sit so high up. And uh, the complete wing backs. Look at him. Look at him. He's already in line with my strikers. <laughs> That's mad. Uh, Ward was just nowhere to be seen defensively there. I mean, I guess he's okay against full backs, but. Team's got wingers. Formation. Not too good. Not too good at all. It's 25 minutes in. No one's really taken charge of this match so far. Looks like they're really trying to work the wings and exploit the flanks here. Which is obviously a very good idea. I don't know how Gadetti missed that one though. That's not very good. Doesn't look like anyone's particularly playing well. No one's particularly playing badly either. Or at least not stand out badly for us. There comes that wing again, or that wing attack again. Scary stuff. Wayne Hennessy comes to collect that one. Not a good ball in there, way too close to the keeper. Dodd Gale never going to win that one in the air, that's for sure. Arnautovic crosses one in. Gudetti just gets in behind but Wayne Hennessy is there, yet again. Uh, I'm thinking, despite not having a goal, that we may just have to change it up already. Anyway, just because we're so vulnerable from like from attacks from the wing, and like, I'm pretty sure their attacking players have got good crosses on them as well. Sure, cross almost getting there from the corner. Hennessy lays down on that one. They really are pushing us. Let's go aggressive. Let's go. I'm not happy. Let's go overview. Switch it to that diamond counter. As you can see, I really have kind of just changed a few of the roles. Um, they're not. They shouldn't make too much of a difference. 
in terms of what we'll see, but defensively it should make us a little bit more solid. Um, I've just changed a few of the attacking roles so they'll drop deeper um, when I need them to. Also, I've changed a few of the uh, team instructions, so we no longer push up higher uh, like we did before, trying to shut attacks off instantly. We now, literally, we should just be sitting on our goal line the entire game. <laughs> My defenders probably won't get out of their final third for the rest of this game. Which is totally fine by me. Short cross there with a great finish. I don't know what is doing. He's just rooted to the spot. He's got to be saving that. Or at least reacting quicker to it. Really, we've only had two shots on goal this game. Uh, fuck. I don't like this save anymore, man. <laughs> There we go. There's the counter. Ah, oh, Mac can't be can't be just playing that crossfield ball. That's two 0 I don't think that's going to be game over. Peters with a cracking ball in there. I don't know who that is. I think that's Dean Moxie just not getting in front of his player enough. And letting the ball just in behind. Ah, uh, Dwight Gale there. Hitting yeah, the post, Butland with a good save, pushing onto the, uh, onto the upright. Dwight Gale, again, wasting a chance. Cracking safe by uh, Hennessy there. And Hanautovic just getting underneath that one. No, no, I don't think I've got anyone on the bench either to just be able to shake this team up. I don't think so. Oh, I've got Tom Ince, I suppose. I could just play him. Just play him up front. We'll play him as a poacher, why not? Mariap gets that one away. Well, I know that Tommins isn't a striker. Hopefully his pace will just do something for us. It's finishing, however, not doing it. Oh, even Cardiff have jumped above us. Oh, that's terrible. They must have called a goal back in their game. <sighs> Jeff Cameron with a poor effort there. Oh my god. Oh, Wins is away here. There we go. Cut in. Oh, fucking cut in, you prat. Ah, uh, I. Oh my god. I think we may actually be. Oh. Mathematically down now? No, we're not. One more point will do it, though. I don't know what West Ham are doing. If they're losing, then if they draw, then we're pretty much down. Well, pretty much down anyway, but. You know what I mean? If they win, then we're definitely mathematically down. Oh, Arnautovic finishes one the game off there. I keep saying this, but it's that direct play. I am... Um, this challenge would have been hard, but I think I could have done it had it not been for having to play like Tony Pulis. Um, I'm not one for Route 1. I don't understand how Route 1 works that well. Um... Way it's just weird for me to, uh, to play route one. Right, continue to post match analysis. Leave match. Yep. Oh, man. Oh my god, hang on, what was that? Um, 16 hours of football without finding that, and the goal of streak seems to be affecting his confidence. Yep, I also think uh, being second from bottom is affecting his confidence. 
confidence quite a bit. You know, it could be worse. I mean, it could be Sunderland, but <laughs> not much of a consolation. Man, you know, it looked like they're going to win the league, though. Well done to them. I don't know. Who have they bought to have done that? They've not bought a single person. Um, oh, they've got, they've got Zivkovic. Uh, he looks not the well, Zivkovic I know, though. Um, has to be the brother of uh, my boy Zivkovic. Nope, he's not. It's the same last name. Yeah, never heard of him. 500k, well, not too bad for a player like that. Yeah, 500k looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can't believe they've uh, they've barely bought anyone. Transfer history. It was the only player they bought. <laughs> My God, and they even sold people. That's mad. They must they made bank that season. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you all in the next episode where we're gonna be playing Sunderland, team at the bottom. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be relegated this game, but uh, or that game, but. We'll see. Guys, I'm going to see you all in the next episode. So, guys, peace out.